Hi guys, this is a quick video to show you how the new SimSolid add-in for Fusion 360 works. We'll do the, the example today with this uh, truss, this four-frame truss structure. Uh, let's kind of look at it first. It's, it, it looks pretty simple, but when you, you know, zoom in, there's quite a bit of detail here. So if the base, you look like this, we have uh, tubes here. We have solid bars there. We have full fidelity nuts, bolts, and washers. We have this mid-span coupler, and we have the same top detail. So it's uh, it's about I think almost uh, 550 something at 549 parts. Okay, so if we want to analyze this, we have to go to some solid. We can use our nice little plug-in up here. If you don't see the plug-in in the model menu, you can find it in the add-ins directory, my scripts, uh, right there. So if you don't have it, you can start it from there. Uh, to run some solid, all you do is simply take the visible geometry and pick the button. Okay, the model's transferred over to some solid. And now we're just creating the, uh, the connections between all the parts. Let's do a real quick analysis and see how this works. So here's our, here's our model. Why don't we do first a modal analysis. And let's get the first, oh, say, 10 modes. Uh, the first 10 modes. And let's do a fixed mode. So let's fix this one constraint down here at the bottom. Okay, that's all we have to do to start the analysis. We can start it there. You know, there isn't a meshing process in SimSolid, so, you know, just define the boundary conditions and say go. And it will solve it adaptively, so it's, it creates an initial set of numerical equations, then it enriches those equations with multiple passes to converge the solution. So this one's pass one, here's pass two, and coming up on pass three. Okay, so I think we're done. Let's, uh, let's look at our mode shapes. We can do it a number of ways. Here's just our modes. We can animate them. So we'll start that. You know, there is the first mode shape. Maybe turn on that, maybe speed it up. And we can kind of go through and look at the different modes. Some torsion, some extension, bending modes, etc. Okay, so let's... Uh, that's, that's one analysis, but why don't we um, just bookmark that. And let's also do a static analysis. So get out of here. Uh, let's go and create a new static analysis. And this time we'll just constrain both edges here and over here, both uh, top and bottom. And then let's just add uh, a translational inertial fo force to the model. So we can do that quite easily just by picking here and say I want to say maybe get a 2G load in the Z direction like that. Okay, and then we just simply analyze that. Uh, again, no meshing, it just uh, starts solving it adaptively. So this one will be a little bit faster, pass one, pass two, pass three. Okay, and we're done. So let's uh, let's look at display shape. There's our display shape for that. There is our uh, our stresses. Uh, we can zoom up if we want on those stresses. Maybe uh, you know here and here and you know look up like that. Turn that off. Okay. Well, there it was. There's. Um, Two analysis, one modal, one static, uh, of a large four-bay truss assembly, five, 549 parts done in SimSolid.